We're going to talk about dolico ectasia, which is a fancy way of saying it's dilated and torturous. And vessels can become dolicoectatic because of a pre existing problem with the wall, like Marfan's or Eilers Danlos or any number of connective tissue disorders or just from chronic long-standing hypertension, which is the usual cause. There are probably some genetic predispositions as well that we don't know about. And so normally blood vessels are like pipes. And so for example, the vertebral arteries become the basilar artery and then terminate in the posterior cerebral artery. And there are branches that come off that go to the cerebellum, both the anterior and the posterior inferior cerebellar arteries, as well as the superior cerebellar arteries. And so when we have branches of the vertebral basilar system that become dolicoectatic, which is dilated and tortuous, it might end up looking like that. And because it's dilated and tortuous, it can exert mass effect. And because it's tortuous, it can go to one side or the other like the right side or the left side or, or whatever. And if it is exerting mass effect on cranial nerves, then it'll come to neuropathy. So if it happens to be pressing on the fifth nerve, then you get trigeminal neuralgia. If it's happened to press on the sixth nerve, then you get diplopia and an incompetent esotropia with an abduction deficit. And if it's the seventh nerve, you get hemifacial spasm. So the whole side of your face is twitching. But really, any all of these nerves could be susceptible to the mass effect of dolicoectasia, dilated, tortuous, mass effect, compression, and the way it comes to me, five, six, or seven.